And here it comes to you, the Bucket Challenge presented by Spalding as a part of a global campaign, hashtag EuroLeague United. This is to provide those confined at their homes with some entertaining content around the biggest passion in the world for us, and that is basketball. Let me explain exactly what this challenge is all about. There's two teams, people. Team Shane Larkin and Team Jan Vesely. Those will be your captains. Ten players, five rounds, each player shooting by position. The team that scores the most points wins. You get 12 shots from one spot. Each shot is worth one point. Then you get three money balls, and those money balls are going to be behind the back. If you sink one of those behind the back money balls, you will get three points for that. What happens in case of a tie at the end? Well, the team with the most money balls will be the team that wins the tiebreaker. And if that's even a tie, then we'll be keeping time for all these players, for all five of them. And the team with the least amount of time scoring their points will be the winners. Let's go over real quick the players that'll be facing off against each other. It'll be Petteri Kopanen from Munich, Germany against Billy Barron from Clarence Center, New York, USA. Anthony Gill from Charlotte, North Carolina versus Brock Modem from Valencia, Spain. Kyle Hines from Sicklerville, New Jersey, USA against Jan Vesely, who's sitting in Istanbul, Turkey right now. Austin Hollins in Germantown, Tennessee, USA against Niles Gaffey from Berlin, Germany. And the last, of course, will be Shane Larkin in Miami, Florida, USA up against Nemanja Nedevic from Belgrade, Serbia. That's it. Let's get ready to do this thing. The Bucket Challenge 2020 EuroLeague. Hey, fellas, what is going on? I got Anthony Gill and I got Brock Modem here. First of all, I want to send out, you know, our, our our best wishes to all you and your family. I know there's been a tough time for everybody, hoping everybody's just as well as you guys look right now. Although, as Anthony said, he couldn't get he couldn't get to get a haircut. Brock, you just put a machine to your head and you're good to go. But no big deal. That's how, that's how I do mine. I just put a little machine to it. I'm good to go. Anthony Anthony needs to go to that barber. You know, they got to prim him up. Hey guys, it takes a little bit more time for me. <laughs> Hey, welcome, fellas, and, uh, and and we're glad you'd be here. Anthony Gill coming to us from Charlotte, North Carolina, standing in at two meters four. What's that, six eight for the American? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> young, he's a young but a very mature 27-year-old. Gill's averaging 8.3 points a game, 4.5 rebounds for Kimki, Moscow region. And he's in his third season there in Moscow, so I'm sure you could say something in Russian for us, right? Give us a little, just like, good luck, good luck team. You got something in Russian for me? Yeah, I'll just say da, which means yes. Yeah, like, come on, that was too, I, even I know that one. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to teach everybody something new, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I, I saw the other day, uh, you got voted the top two-handed dunker in the EuroLeague. Have you, have you seen that? I did not. You did not see that. Well, the number one, you had a couple of them, but the number one play was the coast to coast on Zelgirdis. Do you remember that one where you went, you went behind the back, you crossed over kind of like my podcast a little bit, then you spun and you two handed dunked over the top of Zelgirdis. Any way you can repeat that right there in your living room or is there too many like those kids thing hanging around? I'm in my kid's playroom, so I might trip over a couple of toys. So I'm <laughs> I, I don't, we don't want to get you hurt then. You're taking things up at 64.3% from the field, though, and 44% from three. The question is, have you been practicing that money ball shot here before we start tonight? It'll be a little new for me, but you know, I think I got it. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to our next competitor, Brock Modem, this 29-year-old Aussie measured in today at 208 centimeters is sitting in his home in Valencia, Spain. He's registered 134 games in the EuroLeague up to right now, a career eight-point average. But get this, my people, the lefty from down under has a career shooting percentage of 54.6% from two and 41.3% from three. There's four-year Washington State graduates who spent time in Italy, played in his home country, a couple seasons in Zalgiris, a couple more in Anadolefis, and now in Valencia Basket. A pure shooter with a sweet stroke and a lefty on top of it from outside the arc. You can't leave him alone. Brock, you got no defender here today. There's no excuse for you, man. 
I mean, yeah, we've so got to be thinking about this. Oh, it's my best. <laughs> <laughs> Brock's, Brock's be going under, Hex. He's got low roofs, low ceilings. We can see the lights there in the background, but this is awesome regardless. He's gonna go underhand for his shots. Anthony's got enough, enough ceiling space, so he's good. Now, what we're gonna do, fellas, is we're gonna do the old school and new school at the same time, virtual rock, paper, scissors. Let's go, ready? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Rock goes first. Rock goes first. Rock beats scissors all day long. You had to know that. You had to know the Australian guy was going rock, man. That's, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Brock, are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, listen, the clock will start from your first shot. Brock, hey, tell everybody what you asked me earlier. Oh, yeah. Anthony, we're doing on the first make, right? That's what I thought. Hey, listen, it's eight o'clock over here in Spanish. I don't have time for you guys to wait to make one. <laughs> <laughs> clock starts as soon as the as soon as you release the ball. All right. Yeah. Let's go, Brock. You're up first, my man. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Ant? Ooh. <laughs> going to pick it up here soon, and I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, that was one, wasn't it? That's two. Look at him go. That was off the mark a little bit. Man, if he gets that one. You know he's a streak shooter. If he can get this thing going, watch out. Oh, well, that's on that one. Motor from deep. Oh, how many shots is that? That's four, five. This guy's going. <laughs> Team Yan is getting off to a quick start here. There's another one. What do we got? How many we got to make right there? Yo, money ball. <laughs> that's, that's 0 for 1 on the money ball. Ooh, off the rim on the second one. He's got, he's got the feeling, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank hey, you. Hey, that looked like me when I was a kid, man, right there over the backboard. <laughs> so how many was that? A few weeks. Yeah, a little rusty. All right, AG. You're up, man. You got some pressure on you, but you have to think about it this way. If you got the money ball down, you can do some work. Right. And let's be clear to the world. My wife is with the kids, so she can't help me rebound right now. But there's a little bit of an advantage, okay? Because I got to rebound for myself. Okay, let's go. All right. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Brock, Brock, he's been making excuses from the beginning. He can't get his hair cut. His wife's in there. There's my stuff hair is in my through. face right now. You see that? You see that world? <laughs> the clock starts when you take your first shot. Right, here we go. Oh! You made the first one? That was it, one. Oh. That went way off right there. Brock, what do you think? Good form. God, he's hitting all nets too. That's two, that's two out of three. Oh. That's three. three. Yeah, right, right. Awesome. Oh. Was that good too? No, that was just three. Three. Oh. Three for five. Oh. Three for six, three for six. He's getting nervous now. Uh-oh, he's getting a little nervous now, Brock. Step back. Step back. Oh, step back. Oh. That's four. Step back off the backboard. That's four. Talk to my coach. Tell him I can do it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a movie challenge. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ant, that was lucky right there. You know that one was lucky. Last one, right? <laughs> Last one. How many is that? That was, that was eight. That's eight to 12. Now you got to go money ball. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was there. Watch out for the kids. Hey, you heard the kids. Last one. Time is up, but the last one didn't go anyways. That last one is tough. 
Good job, fellas. Good job. Hey, that was a lot better than I expected, to be honest with you. We could have actually started on the first mate. <laughs> Good job, Rock. Job, hey, shake hands, fellas. Good job. So, at the end, it looks like we're eight to seven. We have to go back and check the tape. Um, Brock Modem's uh, 12 shots to see exactly how many he made because we know for a fact he didn't make any of the behind the backers, right? So far, uh, so, for the ball. Uh, so far we're o so far we're 0 for six on the behind the back shots, fellas. Call your, tough one. call your teammates, will you, and make sure that they're practicing these behind the back shots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas. We want to thank you guys for being part of the Euro League Bucket Challenge, man. It's, uh, it's so nice of you guys to take your time. One, one of you obviously from, from from America, Brock. You're here in Spain. Timing's a little bit difficult, so we want to thank you guys so much for dedicating your time to give us this opportunity to be with you guys. And good luck to all you guys. And hopefully, we'll see you soon on the court. Sounds good. Thanks for having me. No Thanks, problem. Sir. Thank you. Everybody, stay safe out there. You guys stay safe too, man. We'll see you guys soon. All right. All right. See you. Hey, hey, EuroLeague fans. We have the results after the first round, and it is Team Shane with a one-point lead as Anthony Gill goes eight for 12 from the one-pointers, missing all three behind-the-back three-pointers. And Brock Modem hit seven out of 12 shots and missed all three behind-the-back three-pointers also. The three-pointers are going to be the key, but for right now, it's Team Shane Larkin uh, leading by one over Team Jan Vesely, eight to seven. And stay tuned right here because we're gonna have the next round coming up with a couple big boys from the Euro League. Don't move. Oh.